Hey there, boys and girls. I bet you're going to be excited because today is game day. All right, but before we play our games, and you're going to recognize the game we're going to play today, I do have one assignment for you to work on. I would like to hear a story from you. Um, and last week I had asked you, or two weeks ago, I asked you to send me a math sentence and a picture that went along with that math sentence, that math story. And today I'd like you to do the same, but today we're going to do takeaway stories. So I'm going to tell you a true story. Um, I was out gardening this week, believe it or not, and guess what I bumped into? I bumped into several worms. I was shocked. But I bumped into five worms. And you notice my worms don't look too great, but that's okay because this is just math. It's not art class, so I'm okay. So I had five worms as I was pulling out the weeds in the front yard today or earlier this week. And when those worms saw me, guess what they did, boys and girls? They went away. A bunch of them went away. In fact, one, two, three worms went away. And you remember that symbol I show for taking away, for going away, looks like that. So I started with five worms and then three went away. How many worms are left? Well, I can figure that out by counting. One, two. Two worms are left. So today, um, I'd like for you to ask your parents to print you page 17 and it is up on our Google Classroom and on page 17 it sh asks you to make me a number story. Show that story with pictures and a number model and then write that number model, that number sentence at the bottom of the page. Now if you can't print that number story page 17 that's just fine. Don't worry about it because you could do just like I did and write it on a piece of paper and email it to Miss Van Winkle or um, on a whiteboard that you have and take a picture of it and email it to me as well. So anyway it works just so that you show me that you can write a takeaway number story. All right, but enough of that with the number stories because today is game day and I know you're very excited. Now, back at the beginning of the year, I showed you how to play Top It. And we play Top It using cards. And I'm thinking most households have a deck of cards. So I've got two piles here. I've evenly broken them apart. And this might be me playing against Jonas or somebody else. And when usually when we play Top It, we flip a card and we see whose number is greater. But today, when we flip cards, you could do it that way if you want to, but today when you flip cards, hopefully when you play Top It, you're gonna flip two cards. So I'm gonna flip that card and this card. Now I wonder whose pile is bigger. So this card is a seven plus a three. And I'm going to turn my board around here so you can see that. How am I going to add up that 7 and the 3? Well, I can use my fingers. Or I can say the bigger number, 7, and then add 3 more. 8, 9, 10. So this player has 10. And then I can turn my board around here so you can see the other player. This player pulled a 6 plus 3. So I'm going to say the bigger number, 6, and count up. 7, 8. 9. This player has 9. So if this player has 9 and this player has 10, which number is bigger? 10. So the person with the 10 gets these cards, all of these cards, and they can put them at the bottom of their pile. So we'll play one more time. So this player is going to pull oh, another 7. Oh, and an ace. And you remember when we play Top It, the ace is worth one. We take out our face cards when we play Top It. Okay, then we have a five and a four. So let's turn this around. Which number is bigger, five or four? Five. So count up four from five. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. So this player has nine. And then we count over here, seven, and one more from seven is eight. So this player has eight. Which player has more, nine or eight? That's right, nine. So the nine player gets all the cards and puts them at the bottom of their deck. Now you keep playing this topic game until somebody's pile of cards disappears. Top it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And if you play it with someone younger than you, maybe a younger brother or sister, you might just wanna play one card. But if you play with someone older than you, you might, and someone your age in your house, you might want to play with two cards and practice adding. Have fun playing on game day and have fun with math. I will see you later, bye bye.